actually our old class. It's going to be a 45 minute class of myofascial release, roller Pilates, and stretching. And today we're going to do a standing modality. So if you need to go get something to balance next to a chair or stool, you want it to be at um, shoulder height, go ahead and do that and, and then we'll get started. I'd like everybody to start on their roller, just sitting really um, lifted. I'm trying to get stuff arranged here. Really lifted on the roller. Take your legs, um, sit bone width apart, and just open up the glutes and hips by rolling back and forth. Make sure your shoulder blades are down, your head is over your tailbone, and your ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. Belly button to the spine. You've got to remember the roller is a Pilates modality, so the breathing and the uh, positioning are Pilates based. Our whole life should be like that, but sometimes we can't do it. So let's do it in these very targeted moments. So back and forth on those glutes. It, what it does is it releases the hips because we're gonna do some hip stretching today. So I want you to roll onto your hamstrings. The way you do that, if you're short like me, you put your hands forward. If you're not so short, you put your hands, I can't even reach behind you and you let it kind of sit and roll on those hamstrings. Now, one of the things I'd like you to do is lift your feet a little bit off the carpet with a little bit of a flex, not one that flattens your knees. You just wanna get that back opened up, okay? Last four, four and three. Good breathing. Two, I'm gonna make sure I got the timing on this. And one. All right, back to the glutes while I Go into while I oops it's searing while I go into my correct um, uh, modality so I know how long I'm doing this class. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't really do that. All right, back and forth. Okay, so what I want things I want you to do is just bring your knees as close in as possible, just as close in as possible, but aligned so you don't have your feet past your knee. It's just really close in. Now I'm going to ask you to take it in a close position onto your side. And we're just going to um, kind of push those feet into the floor as we go into the hip area. We're not on the IT band, so we don't need to do that forward roll. We're just on the hip. So I want you to just go back and forth on that hip, up and down, like really to the top of where the hip starts and right to the top of the thigh. So you have that space, all right? You can feel it go right to that crease, to that groin area, and then up to the top here. Good. This is kind of going to be a little bit of a new position for us because I can't stop thinking about what to do next and what to do in new ways and what to do in ways that will be interesting to you. Now I want you to go to the tippy top and sit on it. All right, roll the knees forward just a little bit, both of them. Just sit on it right there. Nice. Beautiful. Now what I'd like you to do is come back to the hip and put one leg in front of the other and just hold it right there. You're right in that hip hollow. That hip hollow, does that make sense? Right there, just hold it. I wanna get that front knee as flat or that front leg as flat as possible. So put it on your side and go up and down again. And you'll feel a little more emphasis on the lower part of the roll. Nice. So this is going to be one of the ways that we get into those hips. And that, if you were here for body sculpting, then you know we did a little bit of work and made the hips a little bit tired. Good. Now drop the bottom knee and extend the leg. Just let it sit there. I want you to sit, let it sit there for a nice 20 seconds. Breathe into it. Mm hmm And then bring it up and put the foot as flat as you can get it. So now that you're crossed at the ankles and you're going back and forth. So we're trying different positions for the absolute same area. Keep going. And what's important about doing that? I'm going to talk about the hip a little bit. It's a ball joint and you have all kinds of things going into it that affect your psoas, your piriformis, your lumbar, your hip joint. So you have a sciatica, you have a lot of things entangled in there. And if we just constantly do it like it's a flat plane, we're never going to get all the um, areas and all the ways that it works, all right? Cross at the ankle um, to uh, work out. All right, four more and three. 
Good, and two, and one. All right, let's take ourselves back up and sit on the roller, put our legs together and roll back and forth. All right, nice. Just four, two more, and last one. Now scoot those knees under your, um, scoot those feet under your knees, take it to the side, and we're gonna do that again into that area. We've got 10 rolls to start. Three, knees forward, four, don't let them fall back. Five, make sure you go to the top of that hip so you gotta really kind of crunch down a little bit. Six, if it hurts your knees, then extend your legs. Seven, nice. Eight, breathe into it. Nine, good job. And 10, I want you to sit at the top of that hip. Sit at the very top of that hip, let it roll forward a little bit and go deep into that, that area, into that muscle, that muscle mass, that collection. Breathe into it. All right, we're gonna take the leg forward, keep it on the side as much as we can. Roll up and down. Two, three, and up to the background. Four, how many times I used to do that class? Five, both feet on the side, six, seven, eight. Oh, I feel everything. Nine, it's really profound. And 10, now extend that bottom leg and let it sit there. Good. Breathe into it. Nice, now we're gonna do the crossed ankle version. So crossed ankle and go up and down. Nice. Yes, this feels so delicious. Ooh. Five more. Five, Ooh. six. Come on, you like this. You can admit it, seven, eight, nine and 10, sit in it again. Life is great. I like these crossed leg things and then come on up. All right, back to the center. All right, bringing those knees together again, we're gonna slip off onto our tailbone and go up and down the lumbar. So this whole area, we're getting it from the side, we're getting it from the middle, we're getting it crossed, we're getting it slanted, we're getting as much as we can in this whole area here. So I'd like you to take whatever your right side is, just to the just right of the right ear, right? Just right of the right ear. Not very far. Go up and down. Now you've done this one before. We're just gonna do eight of these. So we're on five, six, make sure you breathe, seven. And eight, now just outside the ear, so you have more of a rotation. And we're keeping ourselves in the center. We already did the turns like we usually do for, so we're not gonna flip over to the hip. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then all the way over, keeping yourself centered. Get a little bit of a stretch on there. You're really pushing on one side. Two, three, oh, I feel lots of stuff. Make sure you stay on that structure. Four, five, six. Now I'm gonna ask you to stop at the bottom this time. Seven and eight. Now hold it at the bottom. There's kind of a pocket in your hip. I want you to sit in that pocket. And you have a nice stretch in the obliques right here too. Beautiful. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring your legs back to center. Bring yourself back up onto the roller. Roll on your glutes four times. Oh, this is a release. So that's one of the reasons I always bring you back here. It's like just going into child pose where we're finished with all these Pilates things. We just always go into child pose to get the release. And that's what this kind of glute roll does for these hips, right? All right, let's do it again. Scoot those knees tight together. Put your Slip onto the lumbar and up and down. Tailbone to the top of the lumbar and do not fall off the structure. 
not hitting the kidneys or more. Four and three and two and one. All right, let's go inside the ear. Let's go. Let's do eight of those. Three. Good job. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Outside the ear. You feel that lengthening, right? Right across the front. And then that intensity of the roller into that side. You got five more. Four. Good job. Three. Two. And one. Keeping yourself centered. Take it all the way over to the shoulder. No rotating, rotating the upper body. Don't push into those hands. They're just for balance. You're holding yourself onto this roller. It's not that hard. Four more and three more and two more. And sit in that pocket. Enjoy that pocket. Feel it and breathe it. Know that all the tangly stuff in your body is going to re be released at least for a little while. Yeah, we don't do this enough. Well, Aaron does, but not me. All right, bring it to the center and slide off. All right, we're going to do our upper body. So you're going to wrap your arms around your head. You're going to push your feet forward and lift up and go up and down your back. Make sure you breathe. You stay on the structure. Do not slip off that rib cage at any time. Make sure those arms are tight. Good. Good. Six. Oh, there was a crack. Seven. And eight. All right. I'd like you to tighten those arms around your head. And you're over to inside your ear. So that should feel familiar. And roll up and down for eight. Two. Oh, three. Apparently, I need this. I've been writing a lot, so I've been on my computer a lot. Four, five, six. Try to do full range of motion. Seven. So it's hard to do because you're on one side, but really focus on an eight. Now, a little bit further over, align with your ear. Two, three. Feeling that shoulder blade, that scapula. Four. Try to get up to that shoulder. That's going to release a lot unless you have shoulder issues. Five. Go up to that shoulder. Six. Seven. And let's take it to the top and hold it right there. That's profound, right? Good. And then bring it back to the center. That's four up and down. Oh, we just got. Keep going. Two, three, and four. Now it's the other side, inside here, up and down. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do full range of motion. Really feel it. Ooh, things are cracking. Mm, breathe it and eight and take it to be aligned with the ear. Let me come back. Aligned with the ear. Let's go. I know the ear moves when you move. I get it, but you know, I'm pushing a little more. And sit at the top of that, raise those shoulders. And then bring it up and come back to center. Keep those arms nice and tight and full range of motion. Releasing. Yes. Belly button to spine. So let's do some neck. So we're going to go slowly up, drop our head back, let the roller drop between our skull and our shoulders, filling up that cervical curve of our neck. 
Now come down to the shoulder, right at the top of the shoulders. We're getting a lot of loose activity here. And then all the way down the back. Let's do that two more times. All right, inhale and exhale and drop and back. Make sure you breathe while you're back here. Don't hold your breath. Try to keep your legs aligned even though you're on your toes. Pretty much. And it comes to those shoulders and hold it there and bring it down. Come out of the camera again one more time. Take it up, drop back. And oh, let it drop into your uh, skull right there. Nice. And then right to those shoulders, to hold it right there, right across the top of the delts. If you were delts in body sculpting class, and then bring it down, and then I want you to come up and down four more times. Good job. Lower your glutes, keep yourself wrapped around your head for now. All right, just keep wrapping, let it rest. Then extend those arms in front of your ears, the palms are to the ceiling. You're looking straight through that um, window of your fingers. Take a big inhale, flex your feet out and lift. Lower your arms to the side, roll your shoulders back twice. Good, and roll your shoulders forward twice. Tuck your legs under, come on up to standing. All right, so now we're gonna do some standing work. The standing work today is not gonna be about Pilates as much as it's gonna be about foot massage. So um, and we're gonna focus on our feet. And so one of the things I wanted you to do, just to get ourselves back to standing, the energy has been lying down. So we wanna get back to standing and I don't want you to balance until we're back to the standing mojo. As I want you to just, <clears throat> Take one foot and just roll it on the roller. Now, on the side of the foot, that will affect the knee. You can feel how things, so when you feel the knee being affected by this, then you can understand how supination and pronation affect your entire body and then the inside. So it's really um, a good illustration of the foundation of the legs affecting your entire body. Let's do the other side. That foot feels kind of fun. Let's go just back and forth, not putting any weight on it yet, just opening the muscles and getting our body used to being upright. The side, the side. So, supinating is when you roll out, pronating is when you roll in. You can always tell if you're a supinator or pronator depending on your heels. Now, I used to be a supinator until I became a Pilates person. And after years of Pilates, I don't supinate anymore. All right, we're gonna take it up very slowly just for stands, just to get stands going. So I want you to inhale, put one leg up, you put your dominant leg up. And what I'd like you to do is allow that leg to push the other leg onto. So you're gonna push into that leg, but put your head to the ceiling and bring yourself <laughs> and bring yourself up onto the roller. Well, that's not me. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. And roll back and forth in that instep only. Don't go beyond the instep if you have an instep. So I have much of an arch. I have a very high arch. And again, that's something that I had and then it got flattened because I was wearing very super supportive sneakers and my muscles atrophied a little bit, but back into Pilates, back into roller and Barlotti's brought my beautiful arch back that had been there my whole life. All right, I want you to feel your heels drop off. Feel those heels drop off. Feel those heels drop off. Feel the extension behind your knees. Get your head lifted over your tailbone. Just keep going as far as you can. At any point, if you feel like you can't keep your balance, you just step off like I just did, and then pull yourself back on. And when you go on, make sure that you always add extra breathing so that you can pull into that core. That's your balance point, right? You want to pull into that core, perfect, so that you can get um, alignment. All right, so now we're going to go forward, drop those toes off the front of the roller, kind of sit back on your heels. Now, here's a part where you might need to balance. So what I'd like you to do is either put your arms out in a little bit of a ballet circle, number two right here, or touch a wall or something. No leaning, no lower, no higher. You want it right here in, 
in the the speed off in the uh, center in alignment. All right, Looking straight ahead. Good. Now roll back and forth in that instep again. Yeah. Now we're going to do it the other way. We're going to drop the heels off the back. And I want you to cling on. Now, some people have toes that actually wrap around rollers. I don't. I have very stubby little toes. My foot looks like beer. They look like they belong to bears. I have like little bear toes. But I have cute neon uh, polish on them. All right, All right drop that heel, those heels off. So another day we'll work on the balance here, but today we're working on the massage. Now step off and we're gonna work on the massage of the foot in a turnout. So what I'd like you to do is like you take one foot into the turnout, right? So that you have more of the foot on the roller. It might be harder, so you might need your prop to get you on with the other turnout. But once you're on, it's pretty stable because you have more of the foot on the, on the uh, roller. So just roll in that turnout. It's a little narrow in terms of depth. So you might be coming off and coming back on to get yourself more supported. So she says, as she does it herself and feel that happening. I feel like my room is smoked or something because my, my roller just keeps rolling before I start it. Okay, here we go. So you keep rolling backwards. Don't be starting it. All right, turn it. Yeah, and then just roll in that turn up. I have one foot not as turned as the other. I can see that. Yeah, good. All right, let's take that off. And we're gonna go back to parallel. Bring it up to parallel. And we're doing some dump bits. All right, roll back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Feeling stabilized. Okay, so for the next part, we're gonna take one foot in. Just a little bit, but the other one's gonna be parallel. Because two feet in would just throw us off. So one foot parallel, one foot in. And then roll on that foot that's going inward and get that super arch appeal right here. And straighten it out and step off. Take the other foot in and bring the other leg up. And get the Give it a nice rotation. Good. Nice. Good job. So we're getting kind of all sides of the feet, like we're trying to get all sides of the shoulder and the back. Good. And then parallel those feet and roll back and forth. Yeah. Nice. And take yourself off. Okay. Before we get off to stop position, we're just going to do some lifts because we like the part of the Pilates that makes us work on balance. And although we're not doing the squats and stuff today, let's do the step lifts. So the way you do this, you step up, you lift, you step down, and for both feet on the floor, step and lift and down, step and lift and down, step and lift and down, keep going. Yes, a little bit of movement doesn't hurt. Nice, lift and down, lift and down, and lift and down. Last one, lift and down. Okay, now we're gonna lie down on our back. I'm going to put it at an angle because we're gonna do abductor adduction. So you need to see the movements. So put your roller beside your mat, make sure that <clears throat> it's aligned. We're going to come down this way. When you come down exactly the way you come down to the Pilates mat, so curl yourself all the way down vertebrae by vertebrae. Lift your glutes up and walk them down the mat. Wiggle your upper body up, belly button to spine. Don't put the lumbar into the roller. Let's first take ourselves into an open chest. So open it up and get that nice stretch. And then put those arms out to the side. You're going to take your legs to tabletop right here. Point the toes, and you're going to go out and in. Good. Now, we're in Pilates, so you exhale back to the center. You exhale back to the long part, right? Good. So we're going to have days where we do plank modalities, 
We're gonna do those leg lifts on the end of the roller modalities. So we're gonna go back to the original plan of this class that we did in the gym. Get more things done. Good, you've got it. Eight more and seven and six. Make sure you pause outside, five, good, four, perfect. Three, I want you to feel that belly, bring your, those legs back in. So grab in that transverse abdominal, two, really grab it, and one. Okay, one leg only, out, and one. Now this makes balance a little more dicey because you're not paralleling your actions on both sides. Three, good job. Four, don't let the roller roll. You want it to be tight to the middle, five, Six, seven, and in September, eight, we go back, get bodies healthy, nine, two, our five minute plank challenge, 10. Now holding it there, extend and then two, just for 10. I'm gonna do something even scarier. Three, four, none of it's scary, we love it. Five, Six, good job. Seven, eight, make sure that other leg is still doing that strong tabletop. Nine, and hold it out there at 10 and circle one direction. Two, three, four, five. So you've got to stay steady on this. Seven, eight, pull that belly in, be strong, and reverse. One, and two, and three, and four. Long leg, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend that knee and bring it back in. So let's go out to the other side. One, two, good job. Three, perfect. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Feeling that abductor, adductor, nine. That's your inner thigh. And hold it up there on 10 extension. One, long leg. Two, good. Three, the knees out to the side. Four, in case you wondered. Five, it's not to the top. Six, seven, good. Eight, nine. And hold it up there on 10. Rotate. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and reverse. Two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend the knee, bring them back in, put the feet down one at a time, knees together and feet apart. Good job, All right? So we're going to take the legs parallel. Take the hands over the head, and we're going to curl up and push toward those knees, and then cross your arms. And three, and four, pull your belly in five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One leg to tabletop. One, two, three, four, pull it in five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Bring it down, other leg. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, so many shoulder things today. Make sure you're in your curl up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the arms down at your sides, palms to the ceiling. Nod your chin down and roll onto your mat. Okay. Let me get mine in the proper position. All right. And now it's time for stretch. So try to stay with, you know, 15, 15, 15. We did it in the original class. It was 20, 20, 20, because it was a longer class. All right, right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, and hold it right there. Take a nice deep breath. I would like you to bring your knees toward your chest, open your legs, and hands on the feet, and push. Breathe it. 
release. Bring those legs together and take them straight over your hips. Flex and hold. Bring it down. Point and push up. Make sure it's over your hips. Don't let it fall forward. Flex, bring it down. And point up. One leg down, the other leg away. Today we're going to do the time stretches. So 20 seconds to bring it down. You keep breathing, you keep pulling, then we're going to hold it for 20 seconds. Big inhale and exhale lower. And keep doing it. You keep breathing and you keep lowering for 20 seconds. Keep both legs pointed and you can massage inside that hip crease to give you more flexibility and hold for 20 seconds. While you're holding, you can engage in micro movements. If you feel your legs going to come a little farther, go for it. Now, in the middle of this, I want you to bend the other leg and touch the floor with your toes. That's it. I want you to feel the inside stretch. Nice. Bring the opposite leg up. And you have 20 more seconds to pull down on this one. We're going to do a second one. Keep going. Now, I know you're thinking there's no nothing left there, but you know, keep doing it. You only have 10 more seconds. Four more seconds. Now hold it there for 20. Breathe into it. Okay, 10 sets of scissor switches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, and 10. And hold that second leg. 20 seconds, let's go. And hold it right there for 20. Now bend that other leg and touch the floor. And then extend it. Five more seconds. Okay, let's do 20 again. Five more seconds. Now hold it for 20. And 10 scissor switches. One, two, Three, nice long legs, point them out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine and 10, hold those legs apart. You're on your first side again. You're on your first side, nice long stretch. Bring the other leg up to the ceiling, point both legs. Flex both feet. Make sure you're staggered, point both feet. Flex both feet. Both feet. Flex and take it to a turnout. So right foot goes right, left foot goes left. The leg goes with you. Nice. Just hold it there. Now, can you take it just a little farther? You can use your arms to rotate. Again, we're working inside that hip. Now point those feet. Keep them in that turnout. 
and bring them inward. So kind of rotate to the other direction. It's kind of impossible, but you can do it. You could do a fraction of it. Beautiful. Bring it back to center. Flex the back leg pointing the front and switch and switch and switch and switch. Point both feet, bring them together. Good, perfect and then switch. All right, you're gonna bring the leg up to center, point both feet, flex, flex both feet, that would hurt. Point both feet, did you hear me holler? Flex both feet. Point both feet, flex both feet. Point both feet, flex, and take it to a turnout. Really rotate. This leg wants to be. This is the knee that I have arthritis. This one has no cartilage. This one wants to be evil. So now point it. Just keep it out there. Keep it rotated. And then rotate it all the way inward. Feel that stretch up in the air. Yeah. Then to center, flex the back. Point the front and then switch and then switch and then switch and then switch. Point both, bring them together. Ten scissors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, you're lowering one leg. Taking the other one out to the side, pushing on the lower part of the thigh. You're lifting it to the center. The other arm is coming across, guiding the hip and the leg to the ceiling. Your shoulders stay down. And inhale and exhale and bring it back up. Okay, scissors again. One. Two last time. Three. I know you think this is crazy. Four. But I'm trying to get enough of isolated stretching. Seven with um, our regular one. And hold it there. Mm. Take this leg out to the side. Hang on. Make sure you're, you stay flat against the roller. Breathe into it. Good. Then bring that leg to center and take it across. Nice. And bring it back up. Move to the roller. All right, you're straight up. You take it out. And we do helicopter. Good. Eight, seven, six. So this modality actually gives us a little more time for stretching than the other one does. That was 30 set or 30 minutes. Two and one, let them float. So this one gave us a, a little bit more time. I thought, I thought I felt like I got more done. Soften the knees, bring it in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. One leg down, the other leg down, we lift up, hold it up there, and lower down. I got a cramp in my knee, or half vertebrae by vertebrae. Don't fall down like I do. All right, curl yourself up. We're not done yet. And turn yourself around and do some like this. Just get the upper body stretched out. That's just beautifully. So you're going to take it all the way out and sit back into child pose. And come up onto your fingertips all the way out. And come up to your fingertips. I want you to turn to the side. Sit on your side right here, a little bit of mermaid, and take it all the way up and then reach over the top. Don't let it hit on your elbow above or below it, okay? And then bring it all the way up and then we'll take it to the other side. We're almost done, I promise. <laughs> I'm just into it, man. All the way over. And bring it up. Nice job. 
Let's sit in and see the butterfly. If you can't uh, sit like this, just take your legs out and bend them a little bit like this, because I want you to be on your sit bones. We're gonna hinge forward a little bit, feeling our chest go forward. Breathe into it. And then bring yourself up, curl your shoulders back twice and forward twice. And let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down. And last time, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I forgot to record it. No, I did, I recorded it. Oh my God, thank you. Um, thank you for coming.